What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be showing you a little review on this website. It has, and this website is awesome because it has many online editors and tools that are all online. So it has an image editor, music creator, audio editor, screen capture, vector editor, image markup, swash editor, and effects editor. The name of this website is up here. I'll include the link in the description. It's called, I don't really know how to pronounce it. It's called I pronounce it avery.com forward slash tools. So first, I'll show you. This will be a, probably have multiple parts. I'm not sure yet. Depending on how long it comes out, but let's get started. Let's start with the image editor. First, you click the tool. You can always come up here and select it from here too. You click launch Phoenix. That's the image name of the image editor. And it's sort of like Photoshop. I I prefer a different website. This kind of photo editor, but I'll do a review on that one too. Just you have your your mouse, your move tool, all your stuff. And you have front end layers over here. You can also select layers, say new layer, or new Phoenix layer, however, it doesn't matter. You can select all, sort of like Photoshop, not as fancy. So, yeah, that's the photo editor. Um, I wish I could show you more, but I'm not really used to using this photo editor, so I'll probably figure it out if I want to. Though, but put X out of that quickly, too. Go to to um let's go to the audio editor click, and it's called my oh mine now whatever that is and let it load this is a pretty cool website too I I just found it recently so okay so this is pretty cool how you got multiple tracks it's sort of like Mixcraft 5 or LMMS I don't know what really it's called Linux mix something. But let it load. Okay. When it's done loading I'll come back. Okay now that's done loading, see how it has multiple tracks already in here? You can preview that by clicking the place on and just actually mix out of my items. Because it probably has this music on. Okay, now we'll preview this by clicking the play button. So now we can also, what you can also do, well most editors, I don't know if you can do it with this one, but you can usually select an area, looks like you can't do that with this, maybe you can, let's click edit, and click, cut, cut, I don't know, I guess you can't, maybe you can, oh yeah, this is how you trim it, see where, if you hover over this arrow above here, it says trim, so you can like, that's how long it was, so we make it shorter, it's basically cutting off stuff, so, you, so like, um, like there's an audio editor called Audio, you know, Audio City or however you say it, and you can just highlight and then click the delete key and it will delete it. The same thing as Trimant, but this one you have to drag. Trim. Now let's try for it. See how it started off there, and remember when it started off at the beginning, I was like, it said something different, like it started. See how, in for it, see how this is like big right here, and it's not small here. See how when you get closer, it still says big. Yeah, so that's a little proof. Proof, okay. So now, and you can also save it. I don't know how you can save it. So save as, and you name it for description. Be the login and register to save, I guess. But yeah. So I have that delete page. All right, and now I'll go over to. Um, I don't really have any effect, and I don't know what. What I don't really have any vectors, but let's go to color editor. Start with. Well, to yeah. Let this load. Oh, this is nice. You can actually edit like mixed colors probably with this. Let's see. That's right. Oh yeah. This is really fancy, isn't it? I didn't really try this yet, so I don't really know what it looks like. I like the, the scroll bar here too. It's kind of stylish. But anyways, um, so, yeah. You can select the colors up here, from dark to 
So like the middle would be bright, this would be dark of that color, and then the other side would be the opposite of that color, but a darker version. So they're bright, change it to any color, it would be green. So whatever you suck up here, it'll change. Like, see, I change it each time. I move this. Or you can select it by doing this. Oh, wrong one. You can select it by doing this. Like, going down here. Or you can, you can include the sap in the hue and saturate here. Make it a nice lime green. There we go. There, now we have a little colors. Now you can save, I guess. And you probably should have to log in. Yes, you do. Which things? Because I don't have a username. Okay, so, yeah. Um, that's it for that one. And now we can go back and we'll try the music creator. I don't know what that's going to do, but you probably have to record, like, your voice. Actually, if I do have to do that, I'm not going to do it, but you can try it. And, yeah. And do a little video response and, on what you did and send it to me. If that's the case. Oh, you know what this is like? This is like Mixed Craft 5, because you get the drums. Or it's like Garage, garage Band. From um, Mac. Let's actually have that for now, though. Alright, that's basically all the tools I can show you, basically. Now I'm going to show you some other editors. The ones I like. You know. So you go to Splat. I'll start with JCut. I'll include this link in the description, because the homepage doesn't include the link anymore, but you can still get to it. Oh, maybe not. It doesn't look like a loaded. But it's a video editor, I don't know if it works anymore, but it doesn't look as... Oh, maybe it does. Okay. So basically, it loads and select your language, however it doesn't matter. I'm English, so... And then you can... This is really nice because it's online, and it's the only online video editor I can find. So you can, like, move your video clips or whatever, it doesn't matter. You can re make them longer. You can put text in there, you can put audio in here, you can edit the audio. You can edit the audio volume really nice. So if you have pictures, you can just drag and drop pictures into here. Say, um, put that there. And now I'll play it if you want. It takes a while to preview it. You can just preview it here, but if you want to preview movie. Oh wait, that just previews the text. Preview the movie takes a while, so I'm not going to do that. Oh wait, it's already good. good. I'm not gonna print full screen because I know it's down this audio if I'm recording. So yeah. That's nice. So that's one of my favorite online well the only one I can find of video editing. But this is my favorite online photo editor. It's called pixar.com forward slash editor. And you can open it from the URL, open the image from your library if you have a username or log on whatever. You can only open an image from your computer edit, so I'm gonna create a new one. Okay, that makes bigger. This looks a lot like Photoshop to me. So you can create gradients. Not gonna, I'm just gonna rush it. So. Oh, wow. There we go. So and then we make gradient, and we can say put text in here. I'm gonna make this real simple. Wait a second. My keyboard's messed up, so I have to like make do with what I got. I would have been typing a lot faster if, uh, if I just had my keyboard working. Alright, good enough. Alright, so we'll do that. And put that in the middle. Make it a little bit bigger. Crap. We'll make this, like, let's see. Let's make it 50. make it a little bit centered. Next what I want to do is I'm just going to show you how you can make a nice silver kind of look. Let's go to the layer styles. Okay. Oh. Sorry about that. Go to layer styles again. and click Beevil which makes it a little silvery and you click the one below that which is under gl outer glow. It makes it like a bluish kind of silver. 
or you can just make a drop shadow which makes it behind it and wait for one. Yeah. So blue will silver but if you want like a like a tiny bit of blue in there, blue silver and makes it like that. Makes a nice look. Makes it kind of noticeable. Okay, so go ahead and look at, check out these editors. And if you wanna go and look at a similar one to this Pixlar, go to splashup.com forward slash splash up. It's a little bit more has more tools inside. But it's kind of hard to deal with if you have a small screen, so you have to go to uh, so you have to go to view and then full screen. It's a pain. So yeah, go ahead and view all those editors. I'll include all the links in the description. Thank you for watching this little tutorial. Have a nice day.